hands-on with the highly anticipated 11.4 update that brings stereo pairing and AirPlay 2 to the HomePod. So the highly anticipated 11.4 update for the HomePod is now live and it brings several new features. A couple of those features are some highly anticipated features like AirPlay 2 multi-room audio and stereo pairing. Now stereo pairing is exactly what it sounds like. If you have two HomePods, you can group them together as a stereo pair. Now all you need to do is select one of your HomePods in the Home app, tap create stereo pair, and then select the second HomePod. Now it's gonna ask you where it's located. So in this case, I'm gonna select bedroom, and now you should see the audio settings. Now, thanks to that A8 system on a chip, each HomePod is able to automatically sense its location in the room and establish its own audio channel left or right. And you can test this out using the audio settings. Just tap here on each HomePod. You can identify each one. You can even swap it around and it's just super simple and easy. Now, this isn't your traditional type of stereo pair. Thanks to the HomePod's advanced beamforming, it provides a wider soundstage than you would normally get with a stereo pair. And now when you open up Control Center, you'll see the pair of HomePods there labeled Bedroom, and I can direct music to play there. Now, unfortunately, this video doesn't really do the sound quality created by a stereo pair of HomePods justice, so you'll just have to take my word for it. The bass is deeper, there's more depth to the sound, and it's just louder overall. And the really nice thing about creating a stereo pair with the HomePod is that it's dead simple. There really isn't a lot that a user has to do. In fact, if you add a HomePod to a room that already features a HomePod in the Home app, it's going to automatically prompt you, as you can see right here, to create that stereo pair with ease. So now let's talk about the real exciting portion of this update, and that is AirPlay 2. AirPlay 2 basically allows you to do several different things with your iOS devices and compatible AirPlay 2 speakers like the HomePod and the Apple TV. So when you open up the Control Center Now Playing interface, you're gonna see all of your destinations that are compatible with AirPlay 2. So you see here my Apple TVs, you see my two HomePods, so I can easily see what's playing in each of those destinations. And if I had other AirPlay 2 enabled speakers, uh, there are some coming up from third parties, you'll be able to see those here as well. And the nice thing is, is that you can control all this from any compatible iOS device that includes your iPad, your iPhone, even your iPod Touch. Now the next feature is the ability to play the same song in sync in any room that features a compatible AirPlay 2 destination. So all I need to do is tap the AirPlay button in Control Center's Now Playing interface and you can see these little circles here indicate valid AirPlay 2 destination. So if I tap that circle, it'll fill it in and start sending audio to that destination, but I can tap more than one. That's the real cool thing about this. So you can select multiple destinations and play the same song in sync to those multiple destinations. You even get control over each speaker's volume levels independently. Now, of course, you can control the global volume for all speakers, but again, you can select each volume slider individually and control volume on an individual level. So again, AirPlay 2 gives you a lot of fine grain control, not only over multiple playback destinations, but also over the volume of each of those destinations. And it's accessible from any compatible iOS device. Now there's also the ability to play different songs on different speakers. Let me show you how. So I'm gonna disengage playback on the Office and on the white HomePod speaker. So we're just going directly to the black HomePod speaker for this particular song. So no other speakers have been using it. Now I'm going to select another destination. In this case, I'm gonna choose the white HomePod, which is right there at the bottom. Just tap there, and then tap the album artwork to open the music app. And that will allow me to control what music is playing on the white HomePod. So I'm gonna choose a different song. All right, so that song is playing now on the white HomePod. And you can see right there, you can adjust the volume if you want to do that. Now let's go back to the control center and you can hear the music playback. So you see it's playing back this song profiles on the white home pod. Now I'm going to play back this song also on the office Apple TV like that. But if I scroll up, 
I can control playback on the other speaker, so I'm playing two different songs on multiple speakers and controlling them all from the control center interface. But of course, you can also use Siri with AirPlay 2. Watch this. Play Profiles by Jeff Benjamin on Office Apple TV. Play Meteor by Jeff Benjamin in the office. So I can direct music playback on a room by room basis without needing the group speakers. I can even control individual speaker volume in a group using Siri. Set white to 25%. Now 11.4 also brings calendar support to the HomePod for the first time. Add a new appointment for Wednesday. Go to the store and pick up a new pair of pliers. What time is your appointment? 4 p.m. It's on your calendar for tomorrow from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. The appointment is called go to the store and pick up a new pair of pliers. Let me know if you want to make any changes. What do I have to do tomorrow? You have one appointment. On Wednesday at 4 p.m., go to the store and pick up a new pair of pliers. Change tomorrow's appointment to 1 p.m. Your appointment called, go to the store and pick up a new pair of pliers, will be tomorrow from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Ready to update it? Yes. It's on your calendar for tomorrow from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. The appointment is called, go to the store and pick up a new pair of pliers. So needless to say, the 11.4 HomePod update is a big one. Which one's your favorite feature? Let me know down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5 Mac.